Welcome back AP Calc AB students, Mr. Record here. We're going to take a look at our final video over topic 7.2. Just one example that's involving verifying a solution to a differential equation. I, I really like this example. It's because it's a little bit different than the ones that we saw in the first video. So let's read through this together. It says, for what values of k, if any, is the function y equal e to the 2x plus k times e to the negative 3x a solution to the differential equation given. 4y minus y double prime equaling 10e to the negative 3x. So we're going to attack this in a very similar fashion if you remember our other uh, problems. Here is your differential equation. Let's highlight that thing in this beautiful yellow color. And that's the guy that we're trying to, mo to, to uh, basically satisfy. We want to plug in a value of y which we certainly have right here. And we want to plug in a value of y double prime, which we're going to have to work on a little bit. So let's go ahead and find our y double prime. So we have to stop at y prime. Get a lot of good practice with the chain rule here, don't you? The derivative of e to the 2x would be e to the 2x multiplied by 2. And then we would normally put a plus here. If we have to erase it, I'll erase it. I think we're going to have to. Our k just drops straight down. The derivative of e to the 3x is going to be e to the, let's rephrase that, e to the negative 3x is going to be e to the negative 3x. But we're going to have to multiply this by a negative 3. So what I might do here is say, we could go ahead and change that plus sign to a minus and then plop our three right there. And then boom, just go about our business taking the second derivative now. So the derivative of 2e to the 2x would be 4e to the 2x. Hopefully you see that again by the chain rule. And now for the derivative of 3k e to the negative 3x, I believe the sign's about to change back to a plus. I think this 3 is going to be multiplied by another 3. The k drops in, and then, of course, we have e to the negative 3x. Luckily, we don't have to take any more derivatives. So, moment of truth. Let's rewrite our differential equation, starting with 4, multiply by the y, which is e to the 2x plus ke to the negative 3x. Subtract. Now, this could be a little tricky here. We're going to subtract, if I can end my parenthesis here, we're going to subtract the quantity of the y double prime, which is 4e to the positive 2x plus 9k e to the negative 3x. And what our hope is, is that this would be equivalent to the right side, which is 10e to the negative 3x. Well, we're going to have to do a bit of simplifying on this left side to see if that's true. So we'll distribute our 4 as usual here. 4e to the 2x plus 4k e to the negative 3x. Let's distribute our negative 4e to the 2x minus 9k e to the negative 3x. All that we're still hoping is equivalent to 10e to the 3 x, negative 3x, and we know it's going to be equal. We're just going to find the k that makes that possible. Well, something is about to happen. We have cancellation between those two terms, so that simplifies things a little bit. As far as these other two terms, I believe that they are like terms. They both have the same base e, the same exponent, negative 3x. All we have to do is add the coefficients in front. 4k minus 9k is negative 5k. And now we are on the way. Because basically, in order for these two things to be equivalent, the negative 5k has to equal the 10. One thing that you could do is just divide e to the negative 3x away from both sides, and you could solve it from that point. But anyway, if you know that negative 5k is 10, you're going to get k equal negative 2. Wouldn't it be nice if k equal negative 2 is a choice? And indeed it is. 
and that's a good sign. So it's just a little bit of a different way to work with verifying a differential equation by solving this K. Uh, could be a type of a problem that you could see on the AP exam, uh, potentially in the multiple choice section. This takes care of all of our verifying differential equation solutions. We're going to move on to topic 7.3 and 7.4, which is all about the wonderful world of slope fields. So be sure to check those out. We'll see you next time.